Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are going to set up a 5M server locally on our Windows PC. Then we are going to link that server to our Tabex web store. Then we are going to set up a package to make sure that everything is working and we can actually deliver something to a player once a package is claimed or purchased. By setting up a local server, you can test things or configure things without having to worry about influencing your players. Then once you have everything configured or figured out, you can then make those changes on your live server. The beginning setup part is basically following this official documentation from 5M. You can also find this in the description. This is going to be a server with TX admin. And as you can see here, this is a monitoring system for your 5M server. This will simplify the setup process and will then give us a nice user interface to work with to manage our server. We're going to find the latest build and download that 7-zip file. You can see I already have this file. I'm going to put it inside of this folder and then I'm going to right click and then extract here with 7-zip. You can see that folder here on my desktop. So now that we have the files over here, we're going to find the server file, the exe application, and then we're going to run this. It's going to create these extra files over here in the top left, and then it should give us some more information and then automatically open up a web page, as you can see here in our browser. It will give us a pin below. It's already automatically filled in, so we can just click on link account. And then by already being logged into my CFX account, I can just click on continue and it will automatically log me in on my CFX account. So now we need to create a backup password. After agreeing, we can then create a master account. So let's click on next and start configuring. So the server name, I will call it 5M Academy Demo. Let's click on next. We then have several options for recipes. In our case, we're going to choose a 5M basic server. Of course, if you are looking for anything else, choose that option over here. For the data location, they strongly recommend using the path suggested below. So I'm just going to click on save. Then we're going to go to the recipe deployer. So for this first one, we're just going to click next. Then it's going to ask us for our license key. Going to our CFX portal, we can go to servers at the top. You can see we can have three server keys. I already have one active. So in this case, I'm going to copy the one that I already have because I don't have a live server. If you already have a server, make sure you generate a fresh key for this testing server so your other server doesn't shut down. You can then copy the key over here on the right, and then we can paste that license key over here and then run the recipe. After this is done, we're going to click next, and this is where we're going to configure our server.cfg. This is basically where it's going to install all the different things for our server, and we have some options to change some more settings. In this case, we're just going to immediately add Tabax to the startup, so let's go to our Tabex dashboard. Make sure that your store type is 5M. And then under integrations, we're going to go to game servers. Let's then connect a game server, top right. So I will call this 5M Local Academy. And then I'm also going to attach all the packages that I already have to this server. Let's click on continue. It says make sure you are running the latest version of 5M. We downloaded the latest version, so that should all be good. And then it says add the following convar to your server.cfg. So let's copy this. Let's go back to the server deployer. And then at the bottom, let's just add that command. Then we're going to say save and run server. Immediately here at the bottom, you can see authenticated with Tabex 5M Academy. So that is good. It tells us then to restart the server and make sure that we don't get any errors. So let's do that. At the bottom here, let's click on restart and then let's click on confirm. It says server shutting down, kicking all players. Nobody should be connected. And then again, it says authenticated with 5M Academy. So the server should be running and Tabex is connected. So let's boot up 5M and let's try to connect to our server. Inside of 5M, let's press F8 to open up this menu and let's type connect and then local host. Here we are in our local server. Going back to TX admin, you can see here I am actually connected to the server. Let's now set up a package to make sure that we can actually deliver a command to the server once a package is claimed or purchased. So let's figure out the command first. We should be able to just say hello YouTube. And then in game, you can see here in the console, in the top left, it says, hello, YouTube. That's the most simple command that I can use to demonstrate. If you're using some sort of framework, of course, you have many, many more options and way more interesting things to actually deliver to the player. But let's use this say command as a example. Let's first of all, click on continue to save our server. And then let's go to our packages. If you don't have any packages in the top right, you can create a new package. For me, I'm going to change one of the packages that I already have. So I'm going to change the command demo. 
So here at the bottom, we can see our deliverables. We're going to deliver some commands to our local Academy game server that we just created. In this case, we're going to deliver two different variations of the say command. One is just going to say hi. The other one is going to say hello, then my username, and then thank you for your purchase. And of course, this is going to be the username of whoever is logged into your web store. There are many more variable options, and these allow you to create more interesting or more advanced package deliverables. For now, let's update our package. From the dashboard, we're going to view our web store. From there, we're going to find the package that we just created. During the process, we need to log into our 5M account. As you can see, we are now logged in. So let's proceed to checkout. I'm going to fill in my information and then complete the order. And then let's complete the payment. So that's done. And then let's go back in game and wait for this to show up in the top left. And there we go. In the top left, we now see the console saying hi. And also our second command, hello, that Tabex, thank you for your purchase. So as you can see, we can deliver packages on our local server. You can now configure things, test things, make sure that everything is working as intended, and then make those changes on your live server, or even more simpler, attach that package to your live server once the package is configured how you want it. Hopefully this was helpful. If anything is unclear, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching, and good luck with your Tabex store.